Hi, welcome back to Food Travel Shopping Channel. You're watching another episode of Restaurant Remake. And today, what am I cooking at the Young's Kitchen? Well, it is one of my all-time favorites and definitely it is my brother's favorite. It brings back a lot of childhood memory. And this is the beef chow fun with black bean sauce. So ready for my little Chinese uh, tutorial for you today? It is si jiu chao ao ha. So that's in Cantonese. Again, it is si jiu chao ao ha. So this is a all-time favorite. Uh, when we were young, we would order this dish um, out in a restaurant. And this is considered like one of these like fast food restaurant kind of thing. So like quick, you know, quick sit down restaurant kind of thing. Um, and this is one of the dish. So it's all time favorite. So let me show you how to make this. Okay, let's check out the ingredients for to make our beef chow fun with uh, black bean sauce. I'm using the skirt stick here and this is about 0.67 pounds. So about half a pound of the skirt stick is fine. So let's check out some of the other ingredients. To tenderize it, I'm gonna use two teaspoons of the baking soda. To marinate, I'm gonna use one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, one teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of the black bean, one tablespoon of the Xiaohang cooking wine, uh, one eighth of a uh, teaspoon of the white pepper for the sauce, one tablespoon of the black bean with garlic sauce here, and then one tablespoon and one teaspoon of the cornstarch. And to accompany with the chow fun, we have half of the green pepper and I cut it in square pieces, red peppers as well, and then one small onions cut into square pieces as well. So to make our sauce, we're gonna use a cup and a half of water. And finally, I have two package of these flat rice noodle. So Check out your local Chinese supermarket to look for the uh, flat rice noodle, which is known as the Chinese character hall fun. So, all right, so let me show you the first step. Okay, so with our beef, I'm gonna take out from my package here. Now don't worry about rinsing it because I am going to soak it with water with the uh, baking soda. So we're just gonna remove from the packaging. Okay, and we're gonna also cut this here as well. Now, in the back here, you can see uh, some of these basically tendon and stuff like that. So remove this piece here. So usually you can just pull it. Okay, so as you can see, I have removed uh, most of the, um, I call it, I don't know, a, a clear film of like membrane kind of thing. Um, so that is what we wanted to do. So it help it to re um, tenderize it, okay? Because that's usually when you cook this, this is where it's make it more chewy. So if we can remove this ahead of time, that would break down the meat and tenderize it. Especially for this part of the, um, the beef here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut our beef here. So we're gonna cut it in little strip All right, so to tenderize our beef here, we're gonna take our baking soda. This is two tablespoon of baking soda. Transfer it into directly to the beef. And I have some water here and we are just going to pour the water in. Go ahead and give this a good mix. All right, so I added about two and 
a half cup here. Yeah, two and a half cup of water. Depending on the side of your bowl, you just want to cover the beef here. And we're going to let this sit for 15 minutes. Okay, so while we are waiting for the beef to tenderize, we can put this to the side. I'm going to show you, these are my rice, flat rice noodle. And I have two pack, and each pack is 12 ounce. So we're going to remove from the packaging and make sure you have a uh, mixing bowl here, preferably glass or steel, stainless steel, uh, because later I am going to pour in hot water to kind of cook the fresh uh, haul fun. Okay, so we're gonna remove from the packaging. These are fresh. These are fully cooked already. And what you want to do is, if it comes in one big piece like this, you want to cut it. Now some of them are pre-cut, depending what you get from the supermarket. Now if it is uh, pre-cut, then you don't have to worry about cutting it if you are, have to cut it like myself, so you can cut it about an inch or an inch and a half, depending on how thick you want it. Um, I usually like it about one inch. So you can just eyeball it and transfer it over to the mixing bowl. Now, as of right now, it looks like not a lot, but I can assure you, once you cook this, it will be enough for a family of four to five people. All right, I'm gonna finish cutting it and I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, so once we finish cutting it, we're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna uh, put this to the side until the very last minute once we kind of cook the vegetable and the sauce. And I'm gonna kind of pour in hot water to kind of um, soften the hoffen and, you know, reheat it that way. Okay, so after 15 minutes, we are going to rinse out our beef. So all the bloody water has been removed. All right, so give this a good rinse. So I'm rinsing it twice. And then rinse it one more time. And I'm gonna just let the beef sit in the water with the water running. And we're gonna run it for a good I'm gonna run it for a good 10 minutes here. Uh, after we have rinsed our beef underwater for 10 minutes, I have dried it, mostly dry, okay? So now we're going to marinate it, add in our, our soy sauce, the white pepper, the Shaohing cooking wine, and sugar. Okay, so we're gonna let it marinate for another 15 minutes. In the meantime, we, you can do, uh, well, we are going to marinate this for 15 minutes and I'm gonna show you the next step. All right, so I have preheated two cups of oil, vegetable oil for frying. So about 300 to 350. So what we wanna do here first, we are going to, what we call in Chinese is run these vegetable in oil first. Okay, so basically we're gonna take it back out.
Okay, so once you run these vegetable in oil, it's gonna be nice and green and it's a little bit shiny. So we're gonna reserve it. Then we're gonna do the same thing for our beef as well. So here's the beef and we're gonna add this in. Alright, so basically once the beef turns the color, we can take it back out. So this is a very quick running the beef and the vegetable in the oil. So the reason why we want to do this is to get rid of all those uh, impurity, those extra blood, you know, you can see all the bubbles in the oil right now. And that really came from the beef and we want to remove that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the oil and I'm going to use a strainer here to get rid of the impurity because I do want some of those oil to be reused. You also want to prepare a boiling water. So now the water is boiled. I'm going to pour it directly into the hall fund. And we're now going to let this sit and we're going to go ahead and cook our sauce. And once you cook your sauce, you're going to strain the water out and then we're going to add it in with the sauce. All right, so I'm going to add in one tablespoon of the oil. And let's do one and a half. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and fry the black bean here. So we're gonna add in the black bean. Add in the black bean sauce. Okay, this is where you add in your beef. Okay, give it a good stir. I'm gonna add the vegetable back in. You're gonna add in your water here. Okay, we wanna bring this back to a boil first. Okay, once it's in a boil, we're now gonna add in our cornstarch. Make sure you mix it with water. Open it up with water and then add it in slowly. So depending on how thick we want it, so. All right, so you can see the consistency here. Okay, not too thick, not too liquidy, okay. And you wanna strain your half on really good. And now we're gonna add this in. And essentially you just go ahead and turn off the heat and you're just gonna mix this really well. So this is the wet version, which is with the sauce, the beef chow fun with black bean sauce. All right, so we're gonna ready for plating. So at the end of every restaurant we make, I am going to try out my dish, so I'm gonna get some beef chow fun. Ooh. Some peppers and beef. All right, so I'm gonna go try out the peppers first. Mmm. Okay, here's the beef. And I'm gonna do beef with chow fun.
Mmm. So delicious. And it's just about right in terms of not to, um, the, the sauce is not too, you know, sticky, where if it's like really, you know, condensed, then it's not good. But if it's too liquidy, it's also no good. So this is just about right. And I just can't wait to finish this, okay? So if you, if you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode. Also, you can follow me on Instagram as well. And I would love to hear your comments. If you have any dish that you want me to consider making, please comment below. And thanks for watching.